Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just get started with your reading. Okay, the first two cards, we're looking at the awareness of the big ideas for the week. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is this very solid, stable, and dependable energy. This could be energy that you would benefit from. This could represent someone within your circle, within your family, within your environment, who is going to have an impact on you. So this Knight, you can see he's at parade rest really with the horse and he's holding the pentacle and he's looking downfield. It's a sense of observing, of taking it all in. He's probably working in his mind and creating the plan on how to make more pentacles or how to harvest the lands. So it's this pragmatic, slow and steady, hardworking, devoted to accomplishing the task. This could be a, an awareness for you to be a leader within a group project at the office, to take charge, but to do it your way, which would be slow and steady and measured. Measured in your actions and, you know, planning and thinking about how you're going to do it. So while you're thinking of actions, of what you're trying to accomplish, what you're trying to do, you know, perhaps you're taking your time in considering this Eight of Cups. In this Eight of Cups, we see this figure leaving under the night sky with the moon, leaving behind Eight Cups. So when we leave something as valuable as that, you know, we're either walking away because we're not happy, we feel unsatisfied, we feel um, that something is missing. And so we need to go out and find it. This could be a search for solitude and a search for answers. And maybe you need time alone to do so, to get more information, to understand what's going on within your life. It could be a break. It could be just say, you know, I'm kind of done here and I'm, I don't care what I'm leaving behind. I need my freedom. I need to move on. I'm willing to risk perhaps my safety in traveling through the mountains at night. So with the Eight of Cups, there is the potential that uh, of leaving permanently, but there's also the idea of, you know, the literal level taking a trip or needing time away from a situation so that you can gain greater clarity or perspective. So in terms of guidance, we have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is a card of, you know, the wounded warrior here. Bandaged, tired, on the lookout. On the lookout to protect himself or to defend himself or family or others. And so many people could quit. You could lay down that wand. You could say, I've had it. But to keep standing shows some grit. It shows something about you that you're not willing to just fold, that you're going to do whatever it takes. You're so close with this nine, so close to, to getting to the place that you want to be, that you're going to be, you know, you'll do whatever it takes. You're standing, you're ready, you're there. So, Next to this Eight of Pentacles, here we have the, the expert. Some may say an apprentice, but it's someone who is very good at what they do and displaying their work, and they're incredibly focused. And again, it's this idea of hard work. The Knight of Pentacles is hard work. And with this 
eight of pentacles, you know, you're not being um, distracted by what's going on in town. And you have developed a level of expertise, a level of skill and talent to be able to make these beautiful pentacles and to display them. Some may feel it's grunt work. Some may feel it's very tedious. Others may find comfort in the precision, in being precise and having a job to do like this. On a practical level for you, this could maybe suggest that you're going to be attending a workshop or taking classes to improve your skill sets. You are putting in the hard work. And we're seeing that this week. You are putting in the energy and the time focused on resources, focused on career, focused on what you do well. And along the way of this focus on what you're doing, you're in the mode of maybe you're, you're anticipating some rough spots that you're going to have to protect yourself or defend yourself. And there's some underlying something, something that may, that you maybe have been thinking about that I need a break. Maybe you need a break from all the hard work. Maybe you need some time for yourself to think about things. Let's see what we have for possible outcomes. So interesting. So many pentacles. Again, a week about resources, career, money, and time, how you spend your time. Two of pentacles, find, trying to find the right balance. You've got a lot going on. You've maybe been working way too hard, and this card is showing up to say, lighten up. Lighten up. Give yourself a break. You have, you're balancing everything. Commitments, job, family, money, whatever it may be. And you know, the fact of the, of the matter is you never stop balancing. It's going to be for the rest of your life, our lives, that we have to find the right balance. We have to juggle what we're going to do first, how we, how we develop our priorities. But in this case, since we're really seeing this predominance of pentacles, I just get a sense that there's a feeling here of, of lighten it up. We're working so hard, you're so devoted that you're going to, it's going to maybe cause a crash and burn that you really need to find the right balance for yourself. And however that is, that it's just, it just seems that it's tipped in the direction of all work. All work and no play is no fun. And here we have the master of the pentacles. Smart, successful, experienced, generous, but also very much into acquiring what he really wants, the things that he enjoys all these grapes and the greenery and his coins. He's just so happy with everything that he has. And he's built it and he spent a lifetime being successful with investments and properties and taking the slow and steady approach and probably working very hard. But I think that there's a message here too, which is take time to enjoy the results of your labor. So that if you've been hoping to get that giant TV for your man cave or for your you know, refinished basement, then do so. Enjoy and find comfort in what you have been able to establish. And you've established with your, your sweat and your, your approach. So... It's a lot of pentacles, a lot of focus on career and finances. And, you know, maybe that's a, as we head in here in the Northern Hemisphere toward autumn and winter, it's a matter of, of, of harvesting and keeping it close and, and safety. I, I don't know. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards and we'll see what messages we have. This is a general focus area.
reaching your destination, your light is shining brightly. So however you define your destination, your light is shining brightly. You've put a lot of energy behind it. You've put a lot of work into getting there through your own approach, through, through paying attention to the quality of what you do, to finding the right balance, to having to protect yourself, perhaps stepping away for a bit to recover. Hmm, let's see what we have for spirit or emotional self. Speak your truth, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. Always practical advice, which is to, you know, whatever your truth is, be authentic to who you are. And, you know, I get a sense of integrity here. People who are willing to stand up and to go through difficult times without without rolling over, you know, keeping your eye open. Okay, and finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what messages we have for love. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. So shining your heart light, letting it beam out there attracts others. Uh, allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a, mo on a time when you experience love and, and you know, hopefully there's some love in your life every day and to just be very present with that. It seems, it's, it just seems to me if we have to go back to when we, if we haven't experienced love, it's been so long and for some perhaps that's true, but the love of friends, the love of family the love of the things that you do, the love of your pets. Think about how it makes you feel. A very interesting reading for you for this week. And again, pentacles, resources, energies devoted to finances, goals, and career, perhaps prevalent. I hope that you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, or comment. I hope that you have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.